Welcome back. Now we are done with the front end and now it's time to work on the back end. So in order to get a response from the chatbot, we cannot rely on this. We cannot use this uh, chatbot because this this way we are currently uh, typing the the response message by ourselves. And of course, this is not a chatbot. Therefore, we need to send the message, our message, we need to send it to the database and get a response from the database so that the chatbot uh, uh, sends a response and responds with a, an appropriate uh, response. So to do this, we have to make a request to the database. So here, after we send a message and display it on the screen, we need to make a request. We need to send this message to the database and get a response from the chatbot. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create here a new function. I'm going to say function and then I'm going to say uh, make request. Make request. And then I'm going to pass the message text here as a parameter. I'm going to say message text. And then in order to send a request to the database, in order to make a request to the database, we need to call the make request from send message. So here, after we display the message on the screen, we need to call here make request. And then we need to pass the message text. Now, let's work on the message text function. So in order to make a request, we need to use Ajax. And I'm going to be using vanilla JavaScript. I'm not going to rely on any external library or a framework. I'm just going to be using plain JavaScript. Because by using plain JavaScript, by using vanilla JavaScript, you will uh, understand the process better and you will also, uh, you will not need to rely on any library that could change in the could change its code in the future and now in order to make a, a an ajax request we need to use a a uh, class called uh, we need to create an object called xml http request we need to create an object of this so i'm going to say new xml http request and then i'm going to store it in a variable called var http request so http request is going to be equal to xml http request now we have created an object and now in order to send a request we now can use this request http request object and then in order to send the request first we need to call a function called open this is going to open a connection with the server and this open function takes three parameters. The first parameter is the request type. So the request type that I'm going to be using is get. I'm going to be using get request. The second parameter is the URL that we need to send a request to. And that URL is a PHP file that will connect to the database. So it could be any file. It could be any file that, could, that has the power of, uh, to connect to the database. And I'm going to I'm going to fail this later because this is going to determine on a file that I'm going to, I'm going to create later. The third parameter is um, the third parameter it could is, is an optional uh, parameter. The third parameter is a boolean uh, value uh, which is uh, going to determine whether we want the uh, request to be async or not. So we want it to be async. We need to say here true. We want it to be an async request. This is very important. Uh, if you don't say this, that's fine, but it's better to make it a, an async request. Uh, third, here we need to now send that request. So we opened the request, now we need to send it. We need to say here send. And in order to get the response, we have to say HTTP and then on ready state um, uh, change on ready state change we need to say is equal to the function that we want to call upon on ready state change so this function this uh, property will allow us to um, will allow us to uh, to call a function and uh, and get the response once the response is ready so once the chatbot is ready to respond a function will be called 
and obviously the function that should be called is the chatbot send message this message uh, this function uh, I'm gonna here this function is called chatbot send message uh, this function can be uh, renamed uh, uh, if you don't uh, if it's confusing you can rename it but I think it's fine you can say chatbot send message because this is the function that will let the chatbot send the message so I'm gonna say here chatbot send message this function will uh, respond will be called uh, as soon as we have a response and the chatbot will send the message as soon we have as soon as we have the response so this is the way this is as you can see the re the the code is very simple to make a re an ajax request which consists only of four uh, uh, lines now this function will be called as soon as the user sends the uh, as soon as the user types and clicks on the button to send the message